everyone, my name is Lucia Kuma. I am one of the co conveners of the Gender and Conflict Academic Summer School. I am convening this module with my colleague Shannon Jin, and we are um, extremely excited to be able to offer this module this year and to be able to convene it together. Um, my own research focuses on um, borders, violence, ir irregular migration, and sexual violence in conflict and post conflict settings. I am particularly interested in the area uh, of, um, in the region of the DRC and Angola, is where my research focuses. But I am, of course, also interested in the wider context of peace and security, of women, peace and security, and particularly looking, uh, looking at the, um, the roles, the different roles that women take up during armed conflicts, and how there is uh, importance in the different cultural contexts to look at peace, war, including the contemporary understanding of feminist theories and how it influences the international legal framework on women, peace and security. So if you're interested in exploring, interrogating and adding to the discussion on these particular areas, you're most welcome to join us in the uh, Academic Summer School for Gender and Conflicts, an extremely um, uh, exciting but also very um, um, thought-provoking module where you're able to bring in your own observations, your own critical um, exploration, um, for example, in the field or in your uh, work capacity to be able to translate this and how the academic uh, engagement has been uh, involved in shaping the conversation on women, peace and security. Hello everyone, welcome to the 2021 Summer School on Gender and Conflict. It is an honor for me to teach with my dearest feminist colleague Lucia Kula together this summer. My name is Shannon Jing. I'm doing a PhD at the Center for Gender Studies at SOAS. I was a tutor for the summer school last year in 2020. My expertise lies in gender and politics in China and Africa, the continent. Specifically, I'm interested in how gender is mobilized in post-conflict societies. My own research looks at women's political participation in the nation-building process in Rwanda since 1994. Here is an overview of the course. For this summer, the course offers an insight into key issues in the study of gender and conflict, interrogating Security Council resolutions on women, peace, and security, including conflict-related sexual violence, while also analyzing transnational feminist approaches beyond the resolutions. During the summer school, you'd expect the following. First, You'd understand and explain the relevant theories on gender and sexuality on the study of conflict and security. Second, you'd be able to discuss and analyze the different roles women take up during armed conflicts and how these have different meanings with different cultural contexts. Thirdly, you'd be aware of the international legal framework on women, peace and security. Last but not the least, you develop an understanding of feminist theories on peace and war, including contemporary understanding of gender diversity and transgender subjects, male victims, and the need for intersectional approaches to feminist peace project. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to meeting you all here this summer.